I would like to start with an exercise that will condition your joints, especially shoulder, elbow and wrist joints. This exercise comes from Bhagwat Zhang and has been used for well, centuries basically to develop the first concepts of coordination and whip-like motion. So you can get any bowl. I personally use a piece of coconut because it's durable and if I fill it with water in the, in the later stages, in case it well, falls down, it doesn't break. Like in the movies you often see people use uh, well, porcelain cups which always break, but I don't see any practicality in that. So just put it in your palm and now let's try to spin it while keeping it like basically straight. I like, keep it in a way that it will not spill. So of course sitting and because you have limited body motion and there's uh, <laughs> a big chance that actually you will not be able to do it perfectly but keep trying. The real full version is actually standing where you have to use your entire body and that's much more doable and useful. But first let's condition our flexibility. So let's get going. So you start by spinning it like this. Try to relax your palm and just feel the cup while using your upper body uh, to keep it on the surface. It's actually much harder than it looks because you have to tense and feel every single muscle from your elbow, shoulder, from your shoulder to your elbow to the wrist. Uh, do it clockwise and counterclockwise. Well, in the later stages, once this becomes natural, you'll be able to do it really fast and while being completely relaxed. And this is what we want. Because when we will reach this kind of uh, motion of full fluidity and relaxation, basically we can apply it to deliver strikes and escape from our different grabs. So now let me show you the stand-up version. Where we'll use our uh, body dynamics starting from our toes all the way to the cup, or basically to the wrist, fingers, the cup. So we start by staying in a neutral position. Put it in front of you and then try to do the same thing as you did on the floor but using, starting from your legs this time and using your hips to bend in a complete dynamic position. Yeah, make sure to concentrate on the movement and how your brain reacts to every single situation in regards to gravity and coordination. The muscle, uh, mind muscle control here is really important. Try to concentrate only on the breathing and the movement. Now the reason behind this exercise, basically in order to generate power, the spring, like uh, springing power, you have to uh, start from our legs of course, but once uh, power reaches to our hips, that's where the problems begin. People tense and they start to do like this rigid motions which basically <laughs> diminishes all their power which came from the ground, right? So but while relaxing the muscle, we can basically do the penetrative strike without using much physical strength at all. Just re uh, relax your hand, feel the gravity, concentrate on the target and apply your will to the, into the target. Basically without intention, just punching randomly the air will diminish power by itself. So keep it straight, like keep uh, straight what you want. When you punch the target, go through it. So just like, we, we don't do Three strikes. We just basically go forward like a spear. And being completely relaxed. Always keep your shoulder down. Don't do this since it basically cuts off your power and also very injury prone. Careful. Relax and
the purpose of the next exercise is to feel your body while under tension. You have to establish the mind-body connection while exerting physical force. This will enable us to block more efficiently, generate power better, and to preserve our energy. For this, you will basically need only two tennis balls. And with these balls, we will do the following. We take these two balls and take the push-up position. So in this exercise, we will not be doing push-ups, not quite. We will be taking like this position and going clockwise and counterclockwise, each hand one at a time. We will learn how to unleash enough force to defend from a strike, depending if it's a kick, punch, push, if it's an object, we will know right on the touch how much force is should exert in order to redirect it. Not block, redirect, always redirect, since blocking basically breaks your bones in the long run. And you know, another uh, good thing about it is that it really like basically works out your upper body in a really good way. But uh, be careful, many people who do this exercise, once they do the, the motion itself, they keep all the tension in this hand. Well, this is basically just, you know, sweeping the floor. That's not the correct way to do it. You have to always keep exerting force. This, this hand is basically just for support. All the work is done by the hand, which actually grinds counterclockwise and clockwise. In the next videos, I'd like to show more flexibility-based exercises, mobility-based exercises, and breathing-based exercises. I'm not really into like bodybuilding and strength generation. I'm more into relaxation, rehabilitation, and flexibility. But of course, I don't deny the importance of strength training, and I do as well do it as you can see from my modest equipment right here. So, in case you want to know something specific, always feel free to let me know. In the next video, I'll be going deeper into Sistema Breathing. So, see you in the next show. Remember to stay strong, stay healthy, and to never neglect knowledge. Peace out.